I've come to the realization that it's been two months since I've made a vlog. And you know what? We've got to fix that. So, gym this morning, not sure which I'm actually going to film, but I'll bring the camera along. Starting a new program today. Come on, wait my, a second. Starting a new program today, my first actual training program since the Olympics. So, since then, I've just been doing whatever I want in the gym, so today's my first day of actually doing a planned session, so I'm a little excited for it, but we'll see how it goes. I think I forgot how to vlog. Well, as I thought, I didn't film very much in the gym. It's been very interesting coming back to training, trying to find routine again, new plan, new structure, moving the body again, and getting back into the swing of training because it's been nearly two months since the Olympics, and I've only done a handful of sessions since then. So coming back has been a bit of a challenge, more than I thought, but it feels good to find some structure in the gym again find a bit of a plan and just build off that. So that's where we're at for now. We keep building. So not too much on the agenda today. Obviously gym this morning and then I want to install something that I got in the mail yesterday on my bike to test out. Got to get some b-roll today for a couple of videos I'm working on and then James is coming over this afternoon and we're going to go for a road ride. Probably about two hours we're going to do so I'll film some of that and then we'll see what else we get up to today. Back to training also means I'm back on the rescue shakes because protein, carbs, I need them. A lot of them. So yesterday I got a fun package in the mail from Insta360 and they sent me some new accessories to use in my X4. And uh, I'm excited about this one. This is a new bike mount, computer mount, sorry. Installs in the front of the bars and you attach the camera on the front. So. I want to test it on the ride today. Gonna to install it really quick and uh, we'll see what that footage looks like later in the vlog. So I guess this is the mount. I think I've got to pick the Garmin mount out of here and then put it on the bike. Uh, okay, so minor change of plans. Gonna have to come back to this project in a little bit. So gonna go for a ride without that mount right now, but I will show you that later in the video when it's all complete. But for now, can't get it finished. You gotta gotta go on the road. So plan today is like 45, 50 kilometers. I didn't tell James the route because more climbing this way, but he's just figuring that out now. So about halfway through, it's easy. 23k in. We're loving it. I don't even see this uphill on the camera, but it's a little uphill. Not too bad though. All right, as always, plans change. Going a little longer now. Going to visit Cole and the Ducks. And then we'll head home. Look at this. You're lucky now you're going to make a vlog. Yeah? <laughs> well, as long as you meet Kevin. You can meet Kevin. Oh. <laughs> you 
you stop six, what happened? Sold them. Uh, the ducks, they're a lot bigger than I thought. I was actually surprised Cole was able to lift them, since he can't lift anything in the gym these days. <laughs> nah, but thanks for the hospitality, Cole. Well, it was longer than uh, anticipated. I was only wanting to go for an hour and a half, but over two hours. <laughs> and uh, I got snot coming out of my nose, all over my face. Uh, it was all right. It was a fun ride. I enjoyed it. And uh, I don't know. I think Thanks for coming it. along. Yeah, I think uh, not as fit as I was before, but uh, it'll come back soon. So I've had this habit the last few weeks of uh, making my rides longer than I actually planned, which isn't really a bad thing, but I told James we were doing an hour and a half today. It ended up being two hours and 15 minutes, 13 minutes, sorry. It's like riding the road lately. It's been a lot of fun. Kind of just going out on the road, pushing, doing whatever I want. It's been a nice change. Leading into the games, I would really only ever ride around an hour, and I was pretty slow, which is what we got to do. So. It's been nice, refreshing to be back on the road and just riding whenever I want, how long I want, and however long I feel like. So, yeah, that's what's been going on the last few weeks. Okay, so a quick little side mission here. Headed out now to get some B-roll for some videos that I'm working on. So, it's not a very big one, but still gotta get dressed up and uh, head out for it. Just headed to the local, I mean, park, I guess you could call it, because that's where I've decided the location is, so we'll go get that done. So I'm out here getting a little bit of B-roll that I need for more videos that I'm working on. You're not going to see that in this video, but they'll be out very soon. So some on TikTok, some on Instagram, not really YouTube, but that's what we're doing today. So flying the drone right now, getting some clips that I need, and um, then we're almost done for the day. Okay, drone coming in. Hope I don't crash it. I didn't show you the last time I crashed my drone, but uh, it was bad. So we're good. We're we're going. We're going strong. Done. Okay, that's it for that one. Now I kind of just need to figure out how to get out of here because there's some construction in the park and. I kind of took this long way down a path and I don't want to go out that way. So I think we can go the other way, but we'll see if it's also blocked off. Oh, it's so overexposed. Um, can I go this way? Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is looking positive. Looking positive, looking positive. Oh, I know where we are. Okay, we're good. We're out. Quick trip, we ran out of pasta. I needed pasta because we're making one of my favorite dishes for dinner, a creamy sun-dried tomato shrimp pasta and it's delicious, so we're gonna make that now. A beautiful creamy shrimp pasta. Life has been a little different these days. Not exactly a bad thing, but something that's taken a little time to process for sure. It's been nice to take some time and relax and reset, but I'm also really glad to be back to some structure, back to training, and have a bit of routine in my life. I think I'm probably gonna make a whole video about my post-Olympic experience because that's been something I've never really experienced before, and uh, I think it'd be great to share and talk a little bit more about. But for now, that's all I've got. So as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.